in the building, man. And, and matter of fact, my man Armando's supposed to pop up on here too with us and talk a little bit about this fight, man. But we got Charlo, man, coming up this 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 weekend. Um, they're fighting at what are they fighting at? Uh, I think it's super super lightweight. I think Charlo's going to like two weight divisions, man. And um, he's uh, Canelo's minus four thirty. Uh, Charles is plus 300, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 10 and a half rounds is the over and the under. Um, wasn't to say, um, excited about this fight. It could turn out longer than we expect, but honestly, with him moving up to weight classes and, and how hard Canelo hits, I, I don't see this working out too well for Charlo. And it was supposed to be his brother, but it's him. But I mean, it's opportunity, but. At the same time, I've seen Canelo lose fights before, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like he's invincible. It's not like he can't be beaten. But when I seen him lose, it was obviously to Floyd Mayweather. And then when he went up those weight classes, which Charlo's doing, which is not a good look, that heavier man laid on him and beat him up and, and gave him a, was a, it was too much for him to handle. It was a lot of problems. So true. Uh, just, you know, anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? And I think Charlo has more than a puncher's chance. I'm not going to go out there and disrespect that man like that at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's he's a champion, too, doing his thing, man. But uh, I, I just I, – I, I'm going to have to go with Canelo on this one. I'm just nervous about that that that, that two-weight class jump, man. That's that's the big thing, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the big thing, and, and it just for, for the fight, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. You can't, come, you can't come to somebody's backyard – and expect to just come in there and dominate. You can't. You can't come to somebody's house and expect to just punk them. You come in Canelo's world. This is this is where he dominates at in this weight class, and he's going to show you why he dominates this weight class. Yeah, it, it's a it's a risky fight to go up two weight classes, and then you're fighting one of the best fighters in boxing right now. That's a, and the char Charlo is. A, I, I have a, a little bias against the Charlo twins um, because I think they're charismatic um, guys that are that are really talented, and I feel like and, and they're American. They could have been frick the twins, boxing champions could have been huge, and I just feel like their careers have been mismanaged, and like this is they're they're coming up possibly on the end of their careers. So now they're going after these big money fights. And for a while they could have, I, I just feel like they could have been superstars with the talent that they have. And so for him to, for him to go up two weight classes is risky. I, I think the one big question for me for this fight is, can he handle Canelo's punch in that division? That's a huge question mark for me. If he can handle it, because you know, at some point Canelo is going to get it. At some point, you know, within 12 rounds, at one point, Canelo is going to hurt him because he just has that kind of power. Can Charlo handle that power? That's my big question. I think he's faster than Canelo, but Canelo timing can beat speed. He's, he's really good at timing when he wants to be. Um, other times, if he's not afraid of his power, that's another thing. If his power doesn't go up, and it doesn't transfer to that weight class. And Canelo takes a shot, and it doesn't do anything to him. It's a long night. It's a long night. So he's got to be on it. He's got to be jabbing constantly in Canelo's face and staying at range. Do not get on. I, I there's a lot of guys that say that uh, that um, Charlo has a better inside game, and I kind of I kind of question that that logic because I think Canelo's got a better game on the inside. But that's a that's the debate, right? Whose mm -hmm. whose assets are better at this point? And I just feel that weight class, the weight classes are there for a reason. Um, it's I mean Canelo did it. He just went up one and he got his ass beat. Mm -hmm. Weight matters in boxing, and so mm -hmm. that's that's a big question for me. This fight. Yeah, that's a huge question, man. Huge, huge question, Manny. Man, how you feel about it, man? I feel that Charlo just just like just like Armando said, it's just about the money. It's not about him being able to win. If he wins, it's a plus for him, but he's only doing it for the money. Like any he he's a boxer, he's been boxing for a while. You no know, going up two weight classes 
to fight somebody that's actually a power hitter, that's not what you do. Like if you're if you're gonna make your way up there, then you go through one weight class, start at the bottom, build yourself up, get to the top of that, and like that, you just don't go up two weight classes and then go to the top. So it's just a money grab, mm-hmm. and he knows that he's gonna get knocked out. So I'm saying knocked out in the eighth round. Canelo. Eighth round knockout. Okay, Manny with the eighth round knockout prediction. Listen, sounds very real. It can very it can happen. It sounds very sounds very real because it, like we like like Mondo said, we're gonna see how he handles those shots. And who knows if he can handle the shots. And if he can't handle the shots, he can definitely take one in the eighth and have a seat, depending on what happens the previous seven rounds. You know what I'm saying? And um yeah, I, I forgot you were saying um, it is it is definitely a money grab, you know what I mean? But here's the thing I wanted to ask you, like, even though it's a money grab, it's still a good fight. Who else would Canelo, I mean, besides maybe trying to fight the guy that had beat him already, but he'd have to go up in a weight class again. But besides that, like, is there a better person out there for Canelo really to fight or better match? You know um, what I'm saying? Well, see, this is, this is the thing. From a business side, I mean, Canelo's in control, right? And everybody wants him to fight Benavidez. I want to see that fight. That's a that's a fight. Oh, you to see. hold up! You're absolutely right. That's a better fight. But go ahead. That's a better fight. The thing is, Canelo's got three fights left. That's it, right? So if you're him, who's going to make you the most money? That's what he's going to go after. He's got three fights to make as much money as possible. So if is you this- don't have a name and you're not going to bring a draw, he's probably not going to fight you. Because he wants the three big fights. Now, is this one of the three? On a money side for Benavides, I see the thing is if you're a boxing head, you follow boxing, you know that that's the fight, right? And that's the fight that everybody wants to see. But is Benavides big enough to draw in the 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 sideline boxing fans that come in for big fights? And when you when you hit that level, that's when you cross over to like big big money right and so if opponents make fights right mikey garcia made the spence fight interesting right mm-hmm. that's it. and i know spence gets the credit for it but at the same time it's always the opponent right so like this opponent is very intriguing it's an american fighter america versus mexico you know they they i feel like they've done well with the promotion i heard that they 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 sold out 20 million dollar gate that's insane uh, Steven Espinoza today, it was hilarious. He went back at Dana White because, you know, Dana White said he's taking over uh, all the Mexican holidays or he's, uh-huh. he wants to take he wants to be on those on those dates now. Uh-huh. Um, well, Espinoza came back and said that, you know, he read out that they made 20 million dollars at the gate, which is insane. Um, and then and then basically said that uh, UFC has never had a 20 million dollar gate kind of slapping back at him. Um, because he thinks, or basically they're going to go head to head boxing on Mexican independence day versus MMA from now on. And so shots fired from showtime at UFC. It was kind of funny. It was like out of nowhere, uh, showtime fires back at, at UFC. It's like, what? No, now there's a tip. <laughs> it's weird. Cause I heard, I heard that they, they thought this fight was supposed to happen on Mexicans independence day. Yeah. And Canelo yeah. moved it for him for whatever reason. You know, there may be other reasons that I haven't heard. So, um, you know, I don't want to say I'm an expert on that because I, I really didn't have time to research that side of it just from what I've heard from from bloggers and stuff like that. But um, but, yeah, it's, it's just one of those things where Canelo's got to get those um, the, those paydays. And so who's going to do that for him? I mean, Terrence Crawford does it for him. It does. Uh- it, that's a big money fight. Now Terrence is a superstar. He's been on Good Morning America. I mean, now he's crossed over, right? And so when he yeah. fights, it's going to be a big deal. So I don't see that Canelo Terrence Crawford being out of the question because it's a massive payday for both of them. I, I that, did hear that, something about that. that. I did hear down? something. Huh? What's that? Is that Canelo coming down in weight? No, no, that's no. Terrence going up. Yeah, I, I did hear Three something about they said Terrence said that he wanted to fight him and go up and wait to fight Canelo. I don't know how true that is, but I did hear something about that. So is this Charlo fight one of the three fights? Yes. 
It's a three fight right, so. deal with um, PBC, and you know fighters never, you know they change their mind all the time. He this may not be his last three fights, but if that's his thinking and that's what his mo- that's what his wife do- wants him and the family's like, you know, that's enough, man. You've been doing this since you're 15 years old. Let's get out of the game. You know that could be his thinking. You know, three fights, three big paydays. Charlo's going to give him a big payday. You know, who's next? Is it going to be Crawford or is he going to save Crawford? Do you, you think know? that one of his fights should be bringing Mayweather out of retirement and getting a rematch? Oh, not going to do that. That would be huge. I, I honestly, I think Mayweather, he loves money. He loves he money. Does. He loves yeah, money. Yeah, but he's not crazy, though. He's not crazy, though. He's not crazy, bro. <laughs> He's not crazy, bro. He's not he would crazy. get Canelo to come down and wait. Like it would be, Floyd would be every trick in the book to get yeah. an advantage. Yeah, that's the only way he would fight him. You know, he's got a dehydration claw or a rehydration clause. He's gonna have a weight class claw. I mean, uh, it's it'll be across the board. All these mm-hmm. things to 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 disable Canelo. Uh, mm-hmm. be, the contract would be hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't think that's do not it. happening. Uh, so I'm saying, if if if, if, if with uh, Benavides, he just needs to fight more. That's I think he would be able to draw that crowd. But the last time I seen him fight was when was his last fight? Um, actually, the last fight was uh, um, was a really good fight. Um, he fought what's his name? Damn, I'm drawing a blank. Um, recently, like Vegas. a couple months yeah, ago. Yeah. God, hold on. That's gonna annoy me. Yeah, pull that up one time, and then you know what I'm saying. Talk it was about a good that. fight, and I'm blanking on the name right now. I bet because I don't know if I remember his last fight. I thought I watched it, but I might have missed it. Um, but we all got Canelo across the board winning that fight this Saturday, correct, fellas? Manny got the eighth yeah. round knockout. Uh, what you got? You got decision? What you got, man? Uh, Mondo, I um. Man, it's tough because Charlo could – he's got the skill set. Does he have the the mindset, you know? Because I've never really seen him I, – I, to this point, I, I feel like he could have fought so many better fighters. Um, uh, and so I've never really seen him I, – I, th- I don't think he's on Canelo's level. And the, and the disadvantage of two weight classes, I, I just think it's going to be too much for him. He's probably going to win the first few rounds, maybe four, even five rounds. And then all of a sudden Canelo is just going to surprise him. And then it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a beat down from that point forward because of the weight difference. And he's not, I, I don't think he's going to be able to handle the power. I, I don't think, I think it, I think it, uh, it's a, it's a short night for, it's not going 12. I, I don't, I think he's going to knock him out. And, and I'm, I'm saying that because of the weight difference, that's, it's just gonna be. I just really think it'll be too much for him. Okay. So. I mean, we 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 shall see. It, it right. will be interesting. And yeah, uh, I I think I got I got Canelo winning, but I got I got it going at least into the the tenth round. Tenth yeah. tenth round. I got tenth round. It, it, it'll maybe make it through the tenth round, and and maybe not. But tenth round is where I say it's going to be probably his demise. So I give it a tenth round knockout, Canelo. I mean, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if he caught Canelo once. I mean, I know he's, um, for the most part, Canelo will probably walk it off or it'll be like a, a flash knockdown or so. I wouldn't be surprised because Canelo's not the Canelo of a couple years ago. Right. right. Seen um, him lose. Right. So, if he, I mean, shit, the game plan has been laid out for him, right? Right, right. I was gonna just say that Canelo just. Charlo kind of follows that Floyd game plan. You know what I'm saying? He, he might be able to get out of there with the dub. Yeah. But at the same time, Canelo's a way smarter fighter than was when he when he fought Floyd oh, at that age. 100%, so. 100%. You know, just his, head, just his head movement alone. It gets tiring missing, right? He makes guys miss. So, duh, mm-hmm. don't discount. Like, if you're jabbing and missing him because he's he's doing, doing that thing he does, that ty- that's tiring, you know? And then – He's gonna have that extra weight on him. He doesn't know, in a re, you know, in a real fight yet, what it's like to fight at that weight, right? right. Against a premier fighter, and he doesn't right. know. And then just, just look at how smart. Even though he he's better now, but look how smart he was when he fought Floyd. It wasn't like that. 
you know, he was he fought Floyd and he didn't know what he was doing. He was already showing the world where he's at, where he is now back then. You know, yeah. he just he just Floyd was just a little bit smarter than he was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, he took the fight too young. Um, yeah. You know, Floyd Floyd being the master of timing knew mm -hmm. that that fan base. I mean, he he was he was being if, if he would have beat Floyd. I mean, Floyd wouldn't have taken the fight if he didn't know that he could beat him um, easily. Um, but that's it's all about timing for that fight. You know, yeah, mm -hmm. a, 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 an experienced Canelo now, um, it, I, it would have been a much closer fight. I still think Floyd would have beat him, but I, 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 at that weight class. But I still, I still think it would have been a much closer fight if, if it was a, a more developed, actually prime Canelo. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, yeah, money okay. wise, money wise. You know, for Canelo, it's all, it's just, he's in the same game Floyd was at the end. How much money can I make? That's it. Yeah. Yeah, right. So, well, we'll keep you guys updated this Saturday, man. It's going all the way down. Showtime Boxing, Canelo versus Charlo. Uh, both eight rappers, both boxes are, are I think, yeah, they're both 33. Um, what was I just looking at right now? Just a quick little preview. Both of them are 33. Um, well, I just, oh, there it is. Yeah, I think Charlo's uh, just a little bit taller, too. T Charlo's taller, 5'11". Uh, he's got a reach 73 inches, so he's got about a two-and-a-half-inch reach over him. But Charlo's 35, 1-1. One one. Canelo's 59, 2-2. Two and two. So that experience right there is a major advantage, man. I'm, <clears throat> I'm telling you, um, the more fights you get in, the, the more experience you have, it's it's you you become more of a hell of a fighter every time because you smarter different this you're smarter you're smarter and 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 a smart not old fighter is a dangerous fighter because even if you get older and you're smarter like as you get older you know what I'm saying even me playing basketball I don't play as hard I play as hard I just don't play as fast as I used to as when I was younger I play a lot smarter now you know what I'm saying and if I was this smart when I was that young it'd have been a dope ass player but. Canelo's still kind of young, and he's all that experience since he's been fighting since he's been so young, still makes him a hell of a fighter and gives him a a, a, a large advantage over Charlo, especially somebody that's fought he fought thirty seven times to so somebody that's fought sixty three, sixty four times. So that's just double the experience, man. So yeah, we got a what Jesus Ramos undefeated going against Erickson Lubin. Uh, we got oh. You got oh, I didn't know you uh you're Donis. Uh Ugas is fighting uh against Mario Barrios and Elijah Garcia against Armando I'm, I'm interested in that Ugas fight. That's gonna I think that's gonna be a good fight. That may that may be a runner up to fight of the night. Um I think that that'll be it's gonna be interesting because Ugas is like one of those guys. Um uh the trainer was telling me he that he's um he's an overachiever. Meaning that he the the height of his success, he's just like beaten, just got Manny Pacquiao at the right time, you know, got his belts. Um, it's just one of those things. You beat Manny Pacquiao, your status rises in turn in, in the boxing mm -hmm. world. And so he I don't think that um I don't I don't see him his ceiling rising anymore. I, I think he's such a nice guy. Um he's well trained. I just think at his age he's um He's in his latter part of his career, but um, it that's it's going to be an issue. It's it's going to be a good fight because I mean, his last fight was Spence, right? So and before that it was Pacquiao. So he's fought at a high level. It, it's it's going to be a fun fight for sure. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely going to be a dope fight, man. I just I didn't know he was up there. He's thirty seven, man. So he he's definitely towards the end of his career, man. But uh, and he's Cuban, he's so he's fought. You know, since he was a little kid, so he's been fighting a long mm -hmm. time. So. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, shit. Any more boxing you want to talk about before we get over to this NBA? Because we got a major trade to talk about. Oh, that's right. Um, no, that's that's it, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good weekend. It's always fun when Canelo fights. Uh, Vegas is always packed. It's a good place to be when 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 there's a big fight, and Canelo is no exception, man. I heard he's already in town. That's right. He did his press conference today. Yep. He, he was kind of talking shit. He's like, "Why is Charlo being so nice to me?" Because you know, before the 
before the actual fight was made, he was always talking shit. And now mm-hmm. he's like, he's being very super respectful. It's weird. There's, he's <laughs> not the same shit talker. And so people are like, is it head games or is he kind of intimidated by the whole thing? Because he's not being himself. It's weird. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't know. I, don't I think, think it's, it could be a head game. I don't, I don't think it's a head game, man, because I think you – if you didn't, if you never played head games really, and you always were yourself, I think you'd be yourself. And if you're not yourself, like I don't think head like it's like trying to play head games with Floyd. Like you think that shit's really gonna work, Conor McGregor? Like right. it, it'll be entertaining, but that's just not gonna work against this kind of boxer. No. So maybe, maybe he, maybe he's just like you know what? Maybe he won't break my face if I don't get disrespectful. Maybe he won't care. <laughs> I don't know. Because Canelo will punish guys. I don't, say he's scared. I don't say he's scared, but I don't know. I don't know. It's a good. That's that's a, that's a good observation. That's a great observation. Yeah, yeah. It, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see. Um, but yeah, I mean, the fact that he he, the fact that Canelo noticed it was making it a story because it's it, it's weird why he was so chill. He's not that way normally. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe right. it's too much for him. They're gonna fuck around and come out together like Canelo's gonna be like, cool. You want to just walk out together, bro? We can just go to the ring together. Right? <laughs> First time ever, we have both fighters. <laughs> like, whoa, is this WWF now? What do we got going on? Yeah, I mean, do you think? Do you think now that I think about it? Do you think if that's real and he's kind of nervous, if Canelo could just blow him out of the water? Yeah, man. If, it he's might. Really that, if he's really that nervous like that, or I mean, it could. This is what I think it is. I don't think he's nervous. I think that, that he knows that this is the biggest fight of his life, and that it's going to be a hell of a fight. So I need to be extra, extra focused now. You know what I'm saying? And extra like I don't even have time to waste energy on thinking oh this and that. I'm just so tunnel vision focused right now. That I seem like that I don't want to talk around nervous, you know what I'm saying? I think that he's really he, he focused on down. what he's got to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm I, I'm he, trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. He <laughs> sat down and he looked at some Canelo fights and was like, "Yo, I I signed up for this with this guy." <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. He gonna well, call he his y'all stop me. He gonna hit his brother on fight night like, "Hey, hey, how much you weigh, dog? Hey, you want to switch this out? <laughs> Wait, you should be you in the supposed to be." Right? This is supposed to be you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, so you buddy. this could be like Ryan Garcia versus Tank. Like that kind of bad night for him? Man, dog. I mean it, it could be. And and I yeah. I, 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 I don't really want to say this one has more potential more potential of that ha- of this happening, but it might even have more potential of that happening than that fight had happening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we'll yeah. see. I, I, I don't think it just depends how Charlo plays it. I personally don't think he's gonna go out there getting cocky and swinging for the fences. Uh, I think he's gonna play it smart and safe because he has no other choice. You went up two weight classes, you can't go out there acting like you're the big dog. That's gonna be very detrimental and it's gonna be a huge mistake. So you're gonna have to definitely ease into it a little bit and see how it goes, see how you feel with the punches, and then you know, move forward from there. But, um, mm-hmm. it's that's going crazy because be- guys who are that weight. Say Canelo punches hard. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if know, he catches a body shot, I think he might drop with a body shot. I think that, you, I think that is the probability that is like high. That long what, torso. I and when you get hit that. by somebody that has power, it changes your whole game plan. Sugar Sugar Shane Mosley said when he fought Pacquiao, he had a game plan until he fought, he felt that power of that right hand, and he said that his whole game changed. Was to never he get would, hit by that right hand quit. again. He wanted to quit in the corner. The power yep. was so strong. Remember that? His <laughs> trainer was like, no, we ain't built like that. Get your ass right. back to me. <laughs> He's like, I'm done. I'm old. That shit hurt. It's hurting. <laughs> Here, you switch that one round. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Well, yeah, hell of a fight going on this weekend, man. Make sure All y'all right. stay tuned. We will keep you guys updated. All right. I'm going to hop out here. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. All hey, right. man. Thanks for... Hey, Ando, so every time we say his name, now you can put a face to the name. That's my right. man's in there. <laughs> right?
All right. You guys right, continue. Appreciate you. All right. All right. All right.